Jesus, this is Apostle Vincent, the senior pastor of the Emmanuel Christian Churches Worldwide. Thanks again for joining us tonight as we come before the Lord in prayer, as we seek his face and desire to know him even better. It is a great joy, <coughs> excuse me, it's a great joy to come before the Lord this, every night. As we come down, days are getting smaller and I can hear the rumblings of the work that is set before us. That the Bible says, if the Lord is for us, who can be against us? I want us to have an understanding that prayer yields much more greater power than any other atomic bomb that have been ever made. I want you to have confidence in the prayers that we make. This is why Jesus said to his disciples, when you pray, you should say, our Father who art in heaven. We have a God or a Father who cares for our needs. If we look at our own fathers, the Bible says, if your fathers who are carnal, who are earthly, could take upon themselves to care, when you ask for meat, they do not give you stone or bread. They, they give you what you need. Think about it, all this prayer that we are making. Sometimes we ask out of selfishness, and sometimes we get disappointed when we don't see certain things happen. But as I've said, even with my children, there are a lot of other things, requests that they give that could I have this? Is it possible that I could have this? And in some instances, I'll tell them it's not possible. So I mean, these instances, I even ignore what they say. Why? Because it's way out of their reach. And there are certain things that might not necessarily be necessary at the age that they are in until they are fully mature and they can be able to take responsibility. I want us to come before the Lord this evening as we take prayer, and we are talking about the effect of the Father upon the Son. In this regard, looking at Jesus as he relates with the Father. And that is a challenge and the attitude I want to give to us that uh, we should have a similar kind of attitude uh, towards him as we relate with the Father to know that none of us will be denied if we come before the Lord, that God sympathizes and feels our pain. God sympathizes and feels the lack that we have. However, the Bible puts it this way. It says, Jesus learned obedience by the things he suffered. There are things in life that we have to go through the process in order that we may mature to be able to carry the glory that pertains to the great breakthroughs that God is giving and has given to us. Unfortunately, the Bible says all things belong to the Son. But for as long as the Son is an infant or is immature, the Bible says curators will be appointed for the child. Why? Because the child doesn't know what is right from what is wrong, what is good from what is evil, what is righteous from what is unrighteous. So even with us, as we come before the Lord in prayer, our intent is one, to fulfill the mission of Jesus here on earth, to pursue and to make sure that it becomes a reality. So our prayers towards the end of the week will be praying for areas where we believe God is calling us. And I want all of us to open our hearts 
so that we are able to hear what God is saying to us. It is key that you understand that prayer is not there for personal selfish gain. As most of us will do, pray for our house, pray for our car, pray for to get married, for our children. In this regard of the needs that the Father has, and in this regard of the needs of, of humanity, and the many people that are struggling, growing through difficult, challenging moments. But tonight I want us to come before the Lord with this understanding that God has a plan, a good plan for your life, not to harm you, but to prosper you. The Bible says even before you open your mouth, God has already heard the cries of your heart. There are a lot of things that you have received without even you opening your mouth, speaking or saying anything to God, because God dearly loves you. I want you to understand, the Bible says there's no greater love than this, that the man should lay down his life for a friend. Jesus came and laid down his life because the Father, the love of the Father was drawn. And I want to believe that even today, God is still calling us, those that call themselves the sons of God. The Bible says the whole universe cries out for the sons of God to be revealed. I want to believe that it is this, this, this season and this time that you should be revealed, that you should share the gospel to as many as you can, so that many people may come to righteousness, that many people may experience the warmth, the love, the kindness, and the mercy that God always extends to us. I want you to have a clear picture of the grace and the love that God has towards you, that God from the time immemorial, the, yesterday we read, it says, uh, from the foundations of the world, God has had us in mind that we should be beneficiaries, those that inherit from him. So in our prayers, as we continue to pray, hold on. Don't look at your current circumstance. People get deceived by their desperate situations, and therefore they turn, as compared to looking outward to pray unto God, they look at their own needs. That's why when you see corruption, corruption happens when an individual looks at their own needs. They start to realize, uh, this is what I, I, I could get for myself. I used this example before about corruption. I used to be an usher many years ago, and I've been an usher in, uh, in weddings and so forth, where we had to dish out food. And in one occasion, we were trying to put some, some uh, cakes, some drink, food aside, so that we serve everybody else. Should the food uh, get finished, we should not be the one who will be shot. And uh, we were counseled and given guidance and understanding. And as we grew, we started to realize that those who serve cannot start by themselves. And this is where corruption comes in. And we see it across the world. Even the governments that are running well, when you look at the level, the vice, one of the, uh, the C vice CEOs of Samsung was arrested yesterday for the same reason of greed, where people have got so much, but they continue to want more. And even in prayer, you can become so greedy that the only center of attention is yourself. You only pray for yourself, for things that concerns you, for things that are around your life, and nothing outside you, you will not pray. And that shows the level of immaturity, the level of childishness, the level of lack of understanding, or even above all, uh, the ability of wisdom to start to manifest in your life. So I want to challenge us as we come to pray. You might look at it and say, all the other people are praying for the needs of their people, their own needs, and all of that. Here we are busy praying uh, for souls who are praying for ourselves to love the Lord more, and so forth. You will be shocked the level of prosperity that the Lord will bring into your life, not by looking at yourself, but by busy saving, and saving the Lord faithfully, and God will come through. Joy that the Lord gives to us. The Bible says he adds no sorrow. God will reward you for your faithfulness. I want us to come before God today as we continue looking at Jesus, how he relates with the Father. It's very important. Yesterday I said, many of us disregard. I see it in my house that I will meet all the needs of my children, but they are still not happy. I will buy whatever that they need. They will still not be happy. And even when I tell them I don't have they are still not happy. And even if I do all the things, they will add even some more of things that they need because they have no regard of the cost 
the challenges, the hardship that the father has to go through. I gave an example to say I had an encounter on Monday or Sunday night, Monday morning, that the burden of the father, how much many fathers go through hardship. And I was thinking about God the Father, but looking at my own personal responsibility, because that morning I was taking two people to the airport to go to Ghana to study. And I realized the burden that I have, the indebtedness that has come upon my life, the missionaries that we sent, all the things that have to be done, that most of the time people are not even regarding. And even when people become dissatisfied, annoyed, angry, and so forth, they miscalculate the level of sacrifices that have been made because they have turned to become comfortable or the pain they go through is so unbearable that they forget that they will not have been where they are without the assistance that they've received. And so I want us to come before the Lord with that understanding that prayer yields great results. Part of the things that prayer will do to you, it will teach you patience. You can't be a great warrior, a great prayer warrior, unless you have patience. You will be in the 24-hour prayer, and you take your full one hour, you take your full two hours, you take your full three hours. All that takes a high level of discipline. Without those, you will always remain mediocre on the sidelines, a person that has to work the rest of their life because they will lack the hidden wisdom of God. The people who can't take advice or counsel, but when you have learned from the scriptures and from what God is teaching us, your base will be so solid, so strong. This way Jesus said to Peter, upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. It is my prayer that as we get deeper into prayer, you yourself will be solid ground. That many others, you become an anchor and a life to many others. You become the, the hope of nations. And so I want you to have that clear picture that without a strong prayer base, without a serious commitment to prayer, your ability to flourish will become limited by the level of your commitment that you give to God. There are a lot of people who earn a lot of money, but they don't have life. They are not so happy. Things are not working for them. Publicly, they take pictures that looks happy. This is why sometimes we get shocked when they tell us about the spectacular failures of people who always uh, show off on the internet, on the show off in their public spaces, but deep down in their heart, they are tremendous. Uh, they have tremendous agonizing pain. They can't face up to themselves daily. It's a struggle. And this is why we get shocked when we hear some of the things that happen through their life and so I want you to have this confidence that the prayers that we are making, sometimes they might not look very personal, but they are very personal. Because in your care for others, God will care for you. In your interest for the success of others, God will bring the success to your own life. Can we go together to the book of John, chapter 10? John, chapter 10, we are reading just one verse. There's quite a number of verses to read, but uh, we are reading just one verse. Verse 30. Verse 30 says, I and my father are one. I and my father are one. Jesus is speaking here about his personal relationship with the father. I like to talk about my personal relationship with my father. I don't think among his children there have been any other person who have shared some of the most intimate moments like I have done. I've given an example that when my father went on pension, he even said, Vince, uh, it's not the name he called me about, but for your sake, uh, I wouldn't tell you what he called me. <laughs> and, and, and he said, I want you to take care all, of all my finances. And so his pension money, whatever money he had that was paid in his account and so forth, for as long as he was alive, I really did, after his pension, I ran his his account, possibly for about seven, eight years. And uh, uh, I've experienced, I could speak the same and say, I and my father are one. This one thing that I said one day to him, I drove, went home, did all the, the instructions he gave me. I used to give him one day a month where I spent the whole day with him. 
and uh, or with him and my mother. And I went home, and when I arrived home, I said to him, and it was very true, I didn't have money for petrol. And I said, oh, daddy, uh, we, I called him Papa, and or uh, I called him Braif, as all his siblings used to call him. And uh, I said, I don't have money uh, for petrol. I thought I should ask so that I can top up, I can reach home. And my father looked at me and he laughed. And he said, Mus Uchuri Chelet, you have the money. And I said, it has not been my money. That's the day he said to me, when you need to use it, uh, please uh, help yourself. He never, from the time I've been with him, he never took stock of how much money was left in the account or any of those things. Uh, he was very happy until the day he passed on. And I took that responsibility of caring for my family. I cared for my mother until she passed on. So but my, the main emphasis here is I and my father are one. I don't know how many of people who are living, whose parents have gone to that level of trust and given themselves, not because they are so old, they can't go to the shop. They are so old, they can't transact. But here I'm talking about somebody who's still in his best ability, who will tell you, bring me so much when you come. When I phone, I'm coming home, will say, bring me so much, and I will do so. And this is part of the challenge I want to bring to us. Can we say that too about God? Can you say it? Can I say it? Can any other person say, I and my father are one? Do I act in the best interest of God the Father? Or do I abuse my relationship with the Father? There is the way that uh, President, uh, the past president, JZ, said in South Africa when things were getting really bad on his second term. Uh, he used the word, says name dropping. And I understood clearly that he is, people are using his name because of proximity. There are a lot of things that were evil that people were doing using his name, yet he was not involved in it. It's like somebody saying, oh, Apostle said. And this is why I say I don't like name dropping because if you say Apostle said, you intimidate those who are not close. You intimidate those who cannot uh, verify directly from the source or the power that you are talking about. So if I come and I say the president said, and people have seen me on television with the president talking and laughing, and I go to a specific place and I say, I was with the president, this is what he said. There is a high probability that it's going to create confusion, especially if they've seen me with the president. And sometimes the same is true. We, we, Jesus was saying, I and my father are one. And sometimes that's the same that we could say, me and so and so are one. Partly because of the frequency of communication or interaction or communion that we have. And therefore, people abuse uh, the proximity to receive gifts, to be corrupted, to be led astray. So I want us to come tonight as we come into prayer, looking at the relationship of Jesus and the Father. I want you to pray for yourself that, Lord, help me that my relationship with you may be more intimate than it has been before. May I grow from just a one verse a guy, one chapter a guy, one, one, one message a day. But may I become an intimate, all present, present person. May, may I become so conscious of your presence. May I become so conscious of your power. May I hear you in the midst of the noises. May I hear your, your voice in the midst of the noises. May I hear you clearly so that I can say, me and my Father are one. Can we come before the Lord as we pray that we be one with him? That our relationship with him may become a real relationship. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, this day. We lift up your name. We glorify you, Father, for you are our God. You are our Father. We give ourselves to you, Lord, even tonight. We cry out for divine help and assistance. For Lord Jesus made a very strong word. He says, I and my Father are one. We pray this evening, O God, that we may be one with you, that we may experience you, Lord, that we may walk with you, O Father. I pray this evening in the name of Jesus that, Lord, we will not just be people who name drop, who speaks about God whom they do not know, who, who make 
quotations of scriptures that do not necessarily affect their life. People, Father, who just speak because it is easy and fashionable to quote scriptures and to be seen to be spiritual. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that deliver us from this delusion that because we have been in the church, in the building, we have been in the company of believers, that Lord, we are intimate with you. But Father, I pray for one-on-one -on -one relationship that Lord, we may come, we may not just say, I, I have received Jesus, but that I live, my life belongs to Jesus. My DNA has been affected, changed, and transformed into the same image as that of Christ. Father, we pray, even this day in the name of Jesus, that Lord have mercy upon us. Lord, forgive us for being so estranged. Forgive us, O oh Father, for being so arrogant to claim to know you, yet we are so far. To name drop, to speak as if, Lord, we commune daily with you, yet, Lord, we are distant. We are pushed far. We don't spend time. We don't soak in your presence. We have not come to know you. But, Lord, I pray this evening, by the name of Jesus, that, Lord, help Open the spirit of our hearts that, Lord, we may hear when you speak. Open the spirit of our hearts that, Lord, we may respond to the scriptures we have already heard. Lord, I pray tonight that brokenness may come upon us. That, Lord, arrogance, this thing that we are close, that I have a title. I am a pastor. I have a title. I am a ministry minister. I have a title. I am a deacon. I am an elder. I am a shepherd. I am a member of the church. Therefore, I am close to the Father. Father, Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus that, Lord, every other proxy relationship that we have created, that, Lord, we have a relationship, yet we are far. Lord, may you heal us as Jesus spoke, as Jesus declared, and he said, I and my Father are one. Lord, we pray that we may be one, that, Lord, we may be joined together with you, that, Lord, we may experience the, the joys of salvation, the revival within our heart to be flourishing in your presence. Your word in Psalm, 19, in Psalm 1, Father, it says, like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Lord, we pray for ourselves. May you restore us, O oh God. May you restore our spiritual vitality, that, Lord, we may awaken, that, Lord, we may not enjoy the journey, but that, Father, we may enjoy the journey. As Christ spoke, O oh God, may it be true of us. May we experience you, Lord, that, Father, we will not just speak from head knowledge, but, Father, we will have a personal experience of your presence upon our life, that we will walk with you, that your power, your grace, your love, Father, will be in our hearts that, Lord, many others who will come into our company, many others who will be with us, they will know and experience your goodness, O oh Father. Lord, we worship you today. We lift up your name even tonight. For you are our God. You are the King of kings. You are the great I am. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all the great and mighty things that you do for us. We give ourselves, O oh God, to you. We pray this day that, Lord, have mercy. Father, forgive us for misbehaving, behaving like we know you, Lord. Yet we are so far. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Your word says we have a form of godliness, but we deny the power thereof. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, may we be rescued from the, 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 the decreasing in our intimacy with you. Father, may you, you heal us, oh, Father, from pretense. Lord, may you heal us from religion and the culture of acting. Lord, behaving like. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Heal us. Lord, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Have mercy, Lord, upon us. For Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Lord, we pray that our intimacy, our love, Lord, may be proven, O God, in that which we do with you, Lord. That, Father, we may grow just beyond father the name dropping that we are born again that we are the children of god but father we pray that our lifestyle our behavior in all our activities of god that lord you will remain the central focus that we will not be self-controlled but will be holy ghost control that will be the word of god powered that father we will show the reality of the power and the grace of the holy spirit upon us lord rabbi Father the Lord Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Lord, I pray for an intimate baptism of your Holy Spirit, O Lord, upon us. That, Father, we may be drawn deeper into a more warmer, Father, intimate relationship with you, Lord. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that Father will not be deceived by the goosebumps that sometimes we get. But that Father, we may stay in your presence of God. That Father, we may stay like Joshua who remained in the tabernacle. Even when Moses came out of Father, he stayed in the Lord. Father, we pray today that may it be the desire of all us, of us, oh Father, to stay in your presence, to seek you, Lord, truthfully and honestly, Father. I pray tonight for all of our pastors, all of our MMs, all of our deacons, all of our members of God, that Father will not fall prey, Father, to the devices of feeling satisfied because of the material things. But Lord, I pray for the push into the intimacy with the Father to experience you, Lord, in your fullness. Lord, I pray 
Lerebeando rocha le bosa cabayanda racha le bona. La raba ba 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 la raba sa cabayanda racha le bone. Lerebeanda racha le bone de le beanda recha le anda anda la bayana. Loribos le anda anda la bayana recha le anda anda la bayana. Lerebeando rocha le anda anda la bayana rocha le bosa ca. La raba ba 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 la raba sa cabayana. La raba ba ba la raba sa cabayana. La raba sa cabayanda racha le bone. Lerebeando rocha le bosa cabayanda recha le bona. La raba ba la raba sa kabayanda recha le bona enda le bayana. La raba sa kabayanda racha le bona enda le bayana. La raba sa kabayanda recha le bona enda le bayana. Le ribeyanda recha le bosa kabayanda racha le bosa. Le ribeyanda recha le yana enda le bayanda recha le yana. Lo raba sa le bona enda le bayanda recha le yana. Lo ribosa le yana enda le bayanda recha le yana enda le bayana. Lo ribosa le yana enda le bayanda recha le bosa. La raba ba 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 la raba sa kabayanda. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt your name. We are grateful, Father, of your presence. We are grateful, Father, of the power of your spirit. Lord, we worship you, Lord, that even tonight, you are our God. Even tonight, you are our strength. Even tonight, you are our power. We thank you, Father, that you are life itself. We give ourselves, O oh Lord, to the Holy Spirit. We surrender, O oh Father. May you move in our midst. May you touch your Father. May we move from childishness to an intimate relationship. Father, may we move from just being children to becoming adults, to sit in your presence, O oh God, to allow your presence, O oh Father, to be soaked upon our life, that, Lord, we may be influenced and directed by your presence, by your word, O oh God. We thank you, Father, as we give you praise. In the name of Jesus, we worship you. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I and my father are one. I said, I doubt how many people can say that. How many people can I, can I say I and God, I and my father. The intimacy between me and my father is the real intimacy. You know, some of us, we come closer for what we can get. Uh, there are moments where you hear parents talk about it, that I feel, I, feel, I feel like used. My children, they relate with me for what they can get. They don't relate with me for the persons that they are. It's just, it's just uh, needs driven. I don't know what is your relationship with God. Maybe your relationship with God is need driven. That's why I say all that you pray is about you, about your problems, about your hardships, you don't even know what God is saying about your situation. You have not gone into the scriptures. What does the scripture say about my current situation? Jesus was saying, I and the Father are one. And they were asking me a question. Are you the Christ? Are you the Christ? And Jesus answered. And I want us to read it from verse 22 so that you take it from yourself. I want to challenge every one of us that God can use you mightily. That God can work in your life in such a tremendous way that lives of people can be touched. Not because we do dramatic things. We prophesy uh, spectacularly. No. Those prophecies are good. But we can do a tremendous work by being intimate with God and knowing what's the heart of the Father. I always say, after we have spent this long, Jesus was saying to them, after we've been this long, you still say you want to see the Father. He says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Sometimes, people only notice the value of a thing when they've lost it. It's then that you realize, oh, this thing was more valuable than I ever thought. And let's read together verse 22 of the book of John, chapter 10. It says, now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked in the, in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him. And said to him, how long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. We spoke about the word Christ. The word Christ means the anointed one with his anointing. Are you the anointed one with his anointing? You see, Jesus has done so many miracles. Even after he has done miracles, they still said, show us a sign. Give us a sign. And when he gave them the sign, he says, this temple I will destroy. In three days, I will build it up. 
and they say it, it has taken 46 years to build this temple. Who are you? I want us to come before the Lord. Verse 25. It says, Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do, the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. The works that I do in my Father's name. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. Now, Jesus is separating the goats from the sheep. The reason why I say I and my father are one is because him and the father spiritually are joined. You should feel aggrieved when people ridicule God. You should feel very aggrieved when people use the name of the Lord in, 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 in vain. The Bible says the name of the Lord should not be used in vain. But we sit there and we listen. But this is what Jesus says. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. As I said to you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life. They shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hands. Verse 29, listen to this. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. Jesus understood. This is a, a childish faith. A faith of a child. I, I have believed the greater part of my childish years that my, there was nothing impossible my father could not do. I always believed. I remember as well when I started to grow, I believed that my brother could defend me for anything. And so sometimes I'll get into mischief knowing very well that my father is not far. Or my brother is not far. Unfortunately, many times, my father will really deal with me handsomely. And my brother will leave me to my devices. And I learn very quickly uh, from there. But here, Jesus is making this uh, issue. He says, my father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my hands, out of my father's hands. And this is what Jesus said. Now you understand. I and my father are one. Why? Because the kind of the relationship that Jesus had with the father was so intimate that when they were asking him, are you the anointed one with the anointing? Are you the one that we are waiting for? Are you the savior? And Jesus says, I've told you so. I told you and you do not believe. In other words, Jesus was saying, yes, I am the, I am the Christ. I am the anointed one with the anointing. But will they believe? No. They wouldn't believe. Most of us love the things that God has, but we don't love God. I know people uh, who love people for the things they have. You see, this is why we sometimes say, when you marry and you are older in years and you have assets, there is a 99.9% .9 that whosoever you are marrying, either you are male or female, they marry you for the security they perceive you will provide to them. I want us to come before the Lord. Are you one? Have you made the decision to transcede, to become one with the Father? Moses put it this way. He says, if you do not go with me, I will not go. He, he yearned for the intimate relationship with the Father so that you will experience him in his fullness. And tonight, I want us to come we are going to pray for the singular, unified vision and mission of the Father. You see, if, if, if I say, I and my Father are one, it means I have no other vision or mission. My, my drive, the things that drive me, is the things that drive my Father. I don't know if you have heard this word, like Father, like Son. Like Father, like son. In other words, they, here we are not talking about the physical attributes only. We talk about mannerism, how the person carries themselves, how the person manifests himself. Most of us, when we manifest, is a demon that manifests. You see, yesterday we spoke, when we read, the Bible taught us, Jesus was speaking as we read that from our inner person, that's where uh, Jesus 
is coming so that we will be infused with him and we will walk with him. So I want to bring the challenge to us as we come before the Lord in prayer. Uh, Paul was saying, for this reason I bow my knee to, uh, to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom the whole uh, family in heaven and on earth is named. He was giving us an understanding that uh, we be rooted. He was saying here, let me read further. He said that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. That you may be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. So if we, we say, I and my father are one, uh, your DNA has changed. Even the things that border and make us to turn, for you, you are fully given. You have fully surrendered. Your life is taken over. You no longer have feelings or emotion for other things. All that has been given to the Father. You look at all that the people know or people do, and those things don't perturb you. They don't scratch you at all. You are not taken by them uh, because you and the Father are one. And I want us to come before the Lord tonight as we pray. That's why I say we are praying for the revelation of the Father in our life because we are talking about a, a singular, unified vision which will drive us, will drive you as an individual. My purpose here on earth is to please him who has called me. The Bible teaches us that he who runs the race must run according to the rules. He who is a soldier will act to please his commanding officer. I want us to come before the Lord to pray for this one verse. I and my father are one. The one part that we are praying, Lord, uh, open my eyes that I may be joined with you. That I may be joined with, that I may not be deceived. You see, you can use the name of Jesus. The sons of Sceva, I don't think uh, it was the first time. I think they've done it before. I think they've gone somewhere and said, come out in the name of Jesus. And the demons came out. And the demons said, hey, these boys, they are copycats. I'll deal with them. What they, what they lacked was the intimacy with the father. You see, because when they came face to face with the devil himself, Satan told them, Apostle Vincent, I know. Paul, I know. Jesus, I, who are you? Who are you? Then the Bible tells us there were seven. They came out naked. Humiliated. Why? Because they didn't soak. They didn't take time to be in his presence. And as we come today is to say, Lord, reconcile me with myself. You see, when you are not reconciled with yourself, you will always fall prey to things that makes you not to love the Lord. I will give you an example of things that will make you not to love the Lord. Uh, when we fall prey, I can love my children more than the Lord. And therefore, I will not do any other thing. We were talking earlier with Pastor K. I said, uh, I believe this is the time God has called us to live by faith. And I said, I will not be bothered. I will not worry. And this is my take to you, that Elijah was fed by a raven. A raven. It's not a clean bed. Within Israel, you couldn't even think about the raven. So, when you live by faith, you believe God, that God will provide. I was giving an example how God has provided in my life, not using the people in the church. Using people, not that people in the church could not hear. Possibly they could hear, but they were blinded. You know, one person used this word. He says, sometimes people are unable to give because of their jealousy. Even if the Lord speaks to them, they will not do it because they feel like they are making you rich or they are doing something that they are not supposed to do for you. And when they see things, that's why we're giving an example that when one man gave a gift, a very big gift, later in life, they said, oh, we'll just pray for the gift. You can have it. And when we were told privately to us, the gift was no longer necessary because in the day when it was needed, it was not given. It's like somebody who today could give their life to the Lord. 
Surrender it and serve the Lord. Suffer the consequences of a, a decision. One, 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 one person was telling us that somebody said, oh, it's a choice you have made. Live by it. You know, when you are a pastor, you need assistance. And they say, you say, could you please help me? Asking your, your brother, bad brother or sister, an aunt, a cousin. They say, oh, it's a life you have chosen. Live it. God, have mercy. Listen, the just shall live by faith. Today, it seems like it's nothing. But I want to tell you, it's everything. May the grace of the Lord be with you. Unified, singular, unified vision and mission. I and my father are one. In other words, there's no head or tail. You know, the coin you have has two sides. Jesus had only one side. Whatever turn you turn, it was the father. Some of us are two heads, are two, two sides. It's a head and a tail. The head looks like that of God. The tail is us. We wag it wherever we want to go. I want us to come before the Lord to say, Lord, deliver me from myself, from the desires of, the, of this world, the pride of life, the many things that this life will want to steal from us so that we think. This is why when you look at us, when you are doing well, you think everybody else, everybody else is doing well. When you are healthy, you think the people that are sick are lazy. You see, when you are rich, you think all the people that are not having money and are not working, they don't want to work. Because you feel like, oh, I am there. But let me warn you, prayer transforms everything. You will excel. You will exceed everything that people have ever imagined or thought about. God's hand will be so heavy upon your life that you will not even know how you have arrived at the place because he was there with you. Jesus said, I and my father are one. He was answering them, are you the anointed one with his anointing? Are you the Christ? He says, yes, I've told you before. But you do not believe me. Then when he goes down, he says, the, ones, the problem you have is that you are none of me. You are not my sheep. Because my sheep hears my voice. I want us to come before the Lord to say, Father, we pray for a singular unified vision with Jesus. That the mission of Jesus is our mission. If the inheritance of Jesus is our inheritance, it says, ask of me, nations for your inheritance, the ends of the years for your possession. Jesus came for just that. Jesus came for human souls to make sure no one is lost. He says, my burden is easy. My, my burden is light. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. May the grace of the Lord be upon your life as we take this prayer. May it be something, a motto, that you live about, that daily you may express the love, the kindness, the passion of giving yourself fully to God and allowing God to form you afresh. Some people have never been broken in their life. And since you are not broken, when difficulty comes, you think that struggle. You can't be a minister then. You can't be a minister. Listen, there are moments I've, I've been in my house and lights were switched off. There were times when things didn't work as I thought. Because sometimes we have delusions. We, we think things will always be the same. Paul says, I know what it is to be abased and I know what it is to be in plenty. I want us to come before the Lord. Jesus said, I and my father are one. Let me give you the last example and we pray. When a young man marries a young woman, the young, the young woman says, I love you. <laughs> Where you go, I will go. Where you die, I will die. The stealing or borrowing the weights in the book of Ruth. Your people will be my people. Then when the going gets tough, instead of the tough get going, people abandon. They say, no, I don't want to get involved. I'm tired of this. You know, men do like this. Women do like this. Then they abandon the cause. I want us to come before the Lord to say, Lord, I surrender. I give my life to you. May today be the burial of all the other plans you have, except this one. I and my father 
are one. Can we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for singular, unified vision and mission upon our life. That the Christ, the purposes, the intent that Jesus carried. Father, may it be the same things that we carry. The burden that Jesus had. Lord, we pray, may it be our burden. Father, we cried out for the supernatural enablement by God upon our life. Lord, turn our hearts towards you. Lord, Rabba Sakabayanda Re Chalebunda and Delebayanda Ra Chalebo Sakabayana. La Rabba Baba La Rabba Sakabayanda Re Chalebunda and Delebayanda Ra Chalebo Sam. Lord, Rebo Sakabayanda and Delebayanda Ra Chalebo Sakabayana. La Rabba Baba Baba La Rabba Sakanda Re Chalebunda and Delebayanda Ra Chalebayana. Lord, Rebo Sakabayanda and Delebayanda Ra Chalebo Sakabayana Ra Chalebayana. La Rabba Baba Baba La Rabba Sakabayanda Ra Chalebunda and Delebayana. Le Rebayanda Ra Chalebo Sakabayana. Bayanda Rachelabona and Delebayanda Rachelabona. Let it be under Rochelayana and Alabayanda Rochelayana and Alabayanda Rachelabosa. La Rabba Baba Bala Rabasa Cabayanda Rachelabona and Delebayana. Let it be under Rachelabona and Delebayanda Rachelayana and Alabayanda Rachelayana. Laura Baba Baba La Rachelayana and Rachelayana and Alabayana. Laura Bosalayana and Rachelayana and Rachelayana. Laura Bosalayana and Alabayana Rachelayana. Lord, rebosale ana na la bayan do rusale ana na la bayan do rusale ana. Lord, rebosale ana na la bayan do rusale ana na la bayan. Lord, rebosale ana na la bayan do rusale ana na la bayan. Lord, rebosale ana na la bayan do rusale ana na la bayan. Lord, rebosale ana na la bayan do rusale ana na la bayan do rusale ana. Lord, rebosale ana na la bayan do rusale ana na la bayan do rusale bosa. La Rabba Baba Bala Rabba Sakabayana Rachalabun and Alabayana. Lerebeana Rachalabun and Alabayana Rachalabusa Cabayana. Lore Bosaleana and Alabayan the Rachalabun and Alabayana. Lore Bosaleana and Rachalayana and Alabayan the Rachalayana. Lore Baba Baba La Rabba Salabun and Alabayana. Lore Bosaleana and Alabayan the Rachalayana and Alabayan the Rachalayana. Lord, rebosale ya na na la bayan de rochale ya na na la bayan na. Lord, rebosale ya na na la bayan de rochale ya na. Lord, rebosale ya na na la bayan de rochale ya na na la bayan na. Lord, rebosale ya na na la bayan de rochale ya na na la bayan de rochale ya na. Lord, rebosale ya na na la bayan de rochale ya na na la bayan na. Lord, rebosale ya na na la bayan de rochale bunda na la bayan na rochale bosa. Let it be under a chalibun and the beyonder, a chalibun and the beyonder, a chalibuna. La rabba baba bala rabba bala rabba la rabba salabun and the beyonder, a chalibuna. La rebosalea nanda la beyonder, a chalibun and the beyonder, a chalibun and the beyana. La rebosalea nanda la beyonder, a chalibus a cabayana, a chalibune. Let it be under a chalibun and the beyonder, a chalibus a cabayana, a chalibune. Let it be under a chalayana and the lavayanda rachalibusa. Robos a cowayan de rachalibunda and the lavayanda rachalibunda and the lavayanda rachalibunda and the lavayanda rachalibunda. Let it be under a chalayana and the lavayanda rachalayana and the lavayanda rachalibunda. Let it be under a chalayana and the lavayanda rachalayana and the lavayana. Let it be under a chalayana and the lavayanda rachalayana and the lavayanda rachalibunda. La rebosa le anda anda la bayanda ra chale bunda anda la bayanda ro chale bosa kabayana. La rabasa le bunda anda la bayanda ra chale bunda anda la bayanda ra chale bunda. La rababa ba 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 la rababa la rabasa le bunda anda la bayanda ra chale bunda. La rebosa le anda anda la bayanda ra chale bunda anda la bayanda ra chale bosa. Let it be under a chalibun and let it be under a chalibus a cabayana a chalibune. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we worship you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we exalt your name. In the name of Jesus, Father, we glorify you, Lord. You are me, you are merciful, O God. You are gracious to us. We pray, Father, even today for a singular unified vision and mission, O Father. We surrender our intent, the intents of our heart. Father, we pray that, Lord, we may be driven by the mission of the kingdom, that, Lord, in our love for our children, in our love for our spouses, in our love, Father, for the work that we do, in our love, Father, for everyday expression, Father, may we express the extension of your love. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, may all 
those around our life come to know you. May all around our life come to fellowship with you. Lord, La raba ba 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 la raba la raba la raba la raba la raba la raba Le re be andara chale bonde ndele be andere chale yana ndala ba yana Le re be andere chale yana ndala ba andere chale bosa ka ba yana La raba ba 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 la raba sala bonde ndele be andara chale bonde Le re be andara chale bonde ndele be andara chale bonde ndele be andara chale bonde ndele be yana Le re be andara chale bosa ka ba yana chale bosa ka ba yana Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for we learn that Jesus, O oh Father, was driven. He said, I am the anointed one and his anointing. Father, we pray that the same grace may be upon our life, that, Father, may we be the anointed ones with the anointing. May we serve our generations, O oh God, with faithfulness. Father, may we serve our generation, Father, with tenacity. May none be lost, O oh Father, in the name of Jesus. May we be fully given, fully surrendered to see our generation, O oh Father, turning in the name of Jesus. Lord, Rabbi, Sakabayanda, Rachelabunde, Nelebayana. Lady Bayanda, Rachelabunde, Nelebayanda, Rachelabunde. Lord, Rabbi, Baba, La Rabbi, Sakabayanda, Rachelabunde, Nelebayanda, Rachelabunde. Lord, Rabbi, Salabunde, Nelebayanda, Rachelabunde. The Rochelebon and the Lebeanda Rachelebon and the Lebeanda Rochelebon and the Lebeanda Rachelebon and the Lebeanda Rachelebon and the Lebeanda Rochelebosa. La Rabba Baba Baba La Rabba Salabon and the Lebeanda Rochelebon. Lore Bosseleanda and the Lebeanda Rachelebon and the Lebeanda Rachelebon and the Lebeana. Lore Rabba Baba La Rabba Sacabayana Rachelebon and the Lebeanda Rachelebon. Lord Rabba Salebon and Nelebeana Rachaleana and Alabayan the Rochelebosa. Lord Rebosaleana and Alabayan the Rachalebon and Nelebeana the Rachalebosa. Lerebean the Rachalebon and Nelebean the Rochelebosa Cabayan the Rachalebone. Lord Rabba Baba Bala Rabba Salebon and Nelebean the Rachalebone. Lord Rabba Bala Rabba Salebon and Nelebean the Rachalebon and Nelebeana. Lord Rebosaleana and Alabayan the Rachalebon and Nelebean the Rochelebosa. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit our hearts, the hearts of our people, into your hands, O oh God. We pray for divine help and assistance, O oh Father. We pray for your hand, Lord, upon our life, that, Lord, we will not waste our life, forgive ourselves, Father, to fruitful, uh, fruitful less, uh, 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 less of fruit upon our life. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that may we bear much more fruit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that the greatest threat to us being one with God is ourselves. The greatest enemy to God's intimate uh, uh, relationship with us and for us saving the Lord is our own self. It's not somebody else. You, you can't blame your mother. You can't blame your children. You can't blame your husband. You can't blame your current loans or anything that you have. You are the number one enemy to what God wants you to be. You are the one who will derail yourself. Uh, you are the one who will give frivolous excuses and make them to be valid. And then come before us and tell us, I had things to do. So don't, what you are expecting is unreasonable. What you are expecting, it has never been heard. And then you make a clap of people who are going to agree with you. Who believe this is your way. So I want you to understand the greatest enemy to be one with God is you. The things you love, the things you want to be, the things you want to do in life. I heard somebody say, oh, my passion in life is to, to visit all the countries. I want to go and visit the countries. I said to the person, I said, oh, it's a good vision. You could be a missionary. He says, no, 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 no. <laughs> I want to be a tourist. <laughs> I want to be a tourist. I want to go from country to country, just see all the spectacular as wonders of the world. Go to this country, go to that country, fly everywhere and enjoy myself. I'll do peace jobs here and there as I, I come. I said, wow. What a passion. That is, that is an enemy to the best the person you could be. 
the best person you could be, you have become the enemy to that person. But I want to come, I want us to come before the Lord tonight. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 15. John 10, verse 15. It says, as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. As the Father knows me, even I know the Father. There are a lot of people who call me Father. Papa, Daddy, my man of God. The, the, the issue is, he says, as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. I was reading the story of the, the big brother today. You know, the big brother was taken to the father. And he says to him, oh, my father, I'm always with you. You have never given me anything. You have never given me anything. Just a kid. You know what's a kid? A kid is a lamb, a goat baby. You have never even been, in other words, in the, uh, the, the structure of worth or value, the goat is the least in their family. A baby goat. He says, you have never given me a kid to enjoy with my friends. And the answer of the father is revealing. The father said, you are always with me. What an heart. My son, you are missing the point. You are always with me. And when he finished to say, you are always with me, the father says to him, all things belongs to you. This brother of yours was lost. Now he's found. And he answers the senior brother and says, it was right that we celebrated him. This is why I say to you, the greatest mistake you can make is to think you are the most important thing. While you miss to celebrate some of the people who will make you to be the, the most important thing. You are, we are being made. We are being formed daily by others. Our turn, sometimes we don't turn because we wanted to make that decision. Certain events force us to turn. So I want you to come before the Lord. Jesus says, as the, as the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. As the Father knows me, even I know the Father. We know impact. There are things you don't know. You know impact. And so our pursuance of God should come to this level where we say, Father, Jesus was speaking, Father, I pray as you always hear me. Can we say that? What is your relationship with the Father? Can you say, Father, I know that when I pray, you hear my prayer. Father, I know that when you pray, I, I've spoken to so many people in the church, they don't hear. <laughs> oh, we speak in riddles. Jesus spoke in riddles. You'll tell a person, what makes you to think you can take care of yourself? What makes you to think you are better than God? Anyway, let's go back to our verse. As the Father knows me, even so, I know the Father. This is the relationship of Jesus to the Father. What is your relationship to the Father? He says, I lay down my life for the sheep. His love for the Father has made him to lay down, to surrender his life for the sheep. His love for the Father has made him to lay down, to surrender his life. He doesn't renege. He said, this work is too much. He doesn't renege. I'm not going to do it. I want us to come before the Lord as we pray tonight. That uh, may we come, may we ascend to the higher level. Amen. May we ascend to the higher level. May we be uh, JJ, you know, uh, Peter, John, and James. You know, Peter and John and James, they were at the Mount of Transfiguration. 
they had another revelation. All the other disciples, the nine disciples, they didn't know. They had no clue. Intimacy. They, they had no clue. They loved Jesus for who Jesus was. They liked being around him. But this tree pushed so deep. that Oh, it was not about money. It was about the anointing. It, it was about the presence. It was about the manifestation. And I want us to come before the Lord as we pray today. That Lord, let all others have the silver and the gold. But may I have you. Because when you have God, or when God have you, all your needs are met. I was telling some people, I said, I've flown and been in far places where I didn't pay. My first voyage, my first ministry, overseas international ministry, uh, was sponsored. I paid, I was flying business class. I was not paying. I remember when I landed somewhere in America, when I arrived, somebody looked at my bag. It seems like he knew the traveling, and he realized what was the stickers that they attached to my bags. And he said, oh, were you on first class? I said, yes. I was flying with some Americans, so I stopped in Atlanta, and I was joining another flight to Bogota, and I was on a business class. And they looked at me, and they uh, shook their head. I said, is it you? I said, yes. Most of us think we could do better. I've been to places I never thought they are possible. As the Father knows me, even so, I know the Father. Most of us, the Father knows us, but we do not know the Father. So that's the prayer we're going to make. Father, I know that you know me. But I do not know you. Because I have not taken time to spend with you. I have not taken time to be in your presence. I have not taken time to really love you with the person that I am. The greatest love anyone can give is their life. We tell the young woman, the young men who are getting married, the greatest love you can give is yourself. It's not the money. It's not the house. It's not the car. It's not the many things that you have. It's you. But most people mistaken the house for, for love. They mistaken the car for love. The ring for love. And all the other things that are accompanied for love. The celebration for love. All those things, there's no love in them. The real love, he says, as the Father knows me, Jesus is making a claim, as the Father knows me, I, he says, even I, even so I know the Father. The question is, do you know the Father? I want us to come before the Lord as we pray. Father, I pray tonight that I may know you. Jesus, in the book of John 17, we can read it. Jesus, in the book of John 17, he makes the claim. Uh, about, about the Father. Verse 3. It says, this is eternal life that they may know you. Most of us don't know God. We know about God. We heard about him. In the book of Job 42, the Bible tells us that Job says, I've heard all the miraculous things. Chapter 1 to 41. All the great things that were happening in the book of Job. Job had tremendous things. If you look at the acclaim, or the testimonial of the life of Job. Let me give you the testimonial of the life of Job today so that you understand what we are talking about when we talk about uh, being, being in love, being associated, being one with God. Then you will understand that Job, didn't, he hid, but he didn't know God because he said it with his own mouth. And this is what Job, the, uh, let me give you the, the, the reference of Job. He says there was, this is the, the, the testimony of Job. He says there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. Uh, and that man was blameless, that's one. Number two was upright. Uh, who feared God, number three. And then who turned away from evil. All of these things Job did. Like the rich young ruler. 
The rich young ruler, Jesus said, do the, the commandments. They said, oh, the commandment. I've done all of it. Tithe I gave. I give to the poor. I have done this. And Jesus said, hey, there's one thing that is missing. And most of us, there's one thing that is missing. And here, the testimony of Job is given about how powerful the man was. The man was. And listen to the testimony of Satan. Verse 10 says, you have, you have put a hedge. Hey, have you not put the hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions has increased in the land. That is the testimony of chapter 1. Let's read the last chapter of the book of Job so that you hear what I'm talking about because sometimes these things are, are riddles. We hear but do not understand. May the Lord have, a, have mercy on us. Verse 5 of 42, it says, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. I've heard. Many of us have heard. Jesus says, I, as my father knows me, I also know the father. I also. Now, Job is then that he has an, another level of experience. Why? Because of the process of time. That he has gone through. And we are told those who write, they say, this story was nine months. It's a pregnancy of a woman. It's a gestation period for a human being. Nine months formation. And Job had a totally different experience of who God was. I want us to come before God to say, Father, as you know me, may I come to know you. You have heard about God. Yes, we have told you about God. You even recite verses and chapters. But there are certain things you will not do for God. These are your reserve. These are my things. I will, not, I will not give myself. Jesus said, my father knows me. And I also know the father. Do you know the father? If you know the father, your life, you will know, is a vapor. That appears for a moment. And in no time it's not. So while you are, your life is still here, let it be fully given unto God. Can we come before the Lord as we pray? Because I've spoken quite handsomely for this prayer point. I want us to pray the book of John, chapter, uh, John chapter 10, verse 15. May the Lord have mercy. We are going to pray for God's divine help. He says, as the Father knows me, even so, I know the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. Your love for the Father and your surrender to the Father is the sheep. Jesus said to Peter, 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 do you love me? And Peter says, you know, Lord, I love you. And Jesus said, uh, uh, take care of my sheep. And Jesus asking, hey, do, are you serious? Do you love me? He says, yes, yes, Lord. He says, feed my lambs. When Peter was, was still excited that Jesus was quoting his name, he says, Peter, Peter, do you love me? And we could hear the annoyance of Peter. And he says, Lord, you know. And he says, take care of my sheep. Jesus was calling Peter to intimacy by the care that he was showing to others. When you love others, your love for God will become greater. Can we come before the Lord as we pray together that, Lord, you know me. May I come to know you. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up your name. Lora Basakabayanda Rachalebone and Elebeando Rochelebosakabayanda Rachelebone. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. Father, have mercy upon us. Show us your kindness. Lord, move in our midst. Father, we give ourselves even tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray. Jesus said, As the Father knows me, even so. I know the Father. Lo raba sakabayanda ra chalebonde ndele bayanda ro chalebonde ndele bayana. Lo raba salebonde ndele bayanda ro chalebonde ndele bayanda ra chalebona. La raba ba 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 la raba ba la raba ba la raba salabonde ndele bayana. Le rebayanda ra chaleyanda ndele bayanda ra chalebonde ndele bayana. Le rebayanda ro chalebonde ndele bayanda ra chalebosa kabayanda ra chaleyana. 
la ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na lo ra ba 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 la ra ba sha la ya na na la ba ya na re sha la ya na na la ba ya na lo re bo sha la ya na na la ba ya na re sha la ya na na la ba ya na re sha la ya na lo ra ba sha le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na lo ra ba sha le bo na na le ba ya na ro cha le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na la ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na lo re bo sha le ya na na la ba ya na ra cha le bo sa ka ba ya na lo ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na ro cha le ya na la ra ba 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 la ra ba sa la ya na na la ba ya na ro cha le ya na na la ba ya na lo ra ba sa le bo na na le ba ya na ro cha le bo na lo ra ba sa le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na lo re bo sa le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo sa ka ba ya na la ra ba 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 la ra ba ba la ra ba sa ka ba ya na re cha le bo na na le ba ya na Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship your God. We exalt your name, O Father. Le re be yana ro chale bonde na le be yana ra chale yana na la be yana ro chale yana. Lo ra ba sa le bonde na le be yana ro chale yana na la be yana. Lo re bo sa le yana na la be yana ro chale yana na la be yana. La ra ba 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 la ra ba ba la ra ba ba la ra ba la ra ba za la ba sa kane. Na ra chale bonde na le be yana ra chale bonde. Le re be yana ro chale bonde na le be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana. La ra ba sa le bonde na le be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana. Lo re bo sa le yana na le be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana re chale bonde. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba yana ra chale bonde na le be yana re chale bonde. Le re be yana ra chale yana na le be yana re chale yana na le be yana ro chale bo sa ka ba yana. Lo ra ba sa le bonde na le be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana ra chale bonde. Na ra chale bonde na le be yana ra chale bo sa ka ba. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba yana ra chale bonde na le be yana. Le re be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana re chale yana na le be yana. Le re be yana re chale bonde na le be yana ra chale yana na le be yana. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa le bonde na le be yana. Lo ra ba sa ka ba yana re chale bonde na le be yana re chale bo sa. Le re be yana ro chale bonde na le be yana ra chale yana na le be yana re chale bonde. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na. La ra ba sa le ya na na le ba ya na ro cha le bo na na le ba ya na. La ra ba sa le ya na na le ba ya na ro cha le ya na na le ba ya na ro cha le ya na. La ra ba sa le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na. Le re be yana re chale yana na la be yana ra chale bo na na le be yana ro chale bo sa ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba yana ra chale bo na na le be yana lo ra ba sa ka na re chale bo na na le be yana we thank you Lord for Jesus said as the Father knows me even so I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep Lord I pray that Father may you give us a new perspective a new understanding O God that our love for you Father is not selfish but our love for you O oh God is when we lay down our life for the sheep O oh God our love for you O oh God is when our life is given for others O oh Father to find comfort a hiding place a place of refreshment a place of restoration Father we give ourselves to you in the name of Jesus lo ra ba sa ka ba yana ra cha le bon na le ba yana ra cha le bon na La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na la ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na lo re bo se le ya na na le ba ya na re cha le ya na na le ba ya na re cha le bo sa la ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na le re ba ya na ra cha le bo na na le ba ya na ro cha le bo sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo na Le re be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana ra chale bonde na le be yana. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba yana re chale bonde na le be yana. Lo re bo se le yana na le be yana re chale yana na le be yana. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa le yana na le be yana ro chale bonde na le be yana. Lo re bo se le bonde na le be yana ra chale bo sa ka ba yana ra cha. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is the desire of our heart, O God, that we may come to know You, Lord, that we may come, Father, to experience You, Lord. We pray, Father, in this day, as we surrender, as we lay down our life, that Father, we will not be deceived. That the Father knows us, but that Lord will make every effort. That Lord, we will go out of our way to know You, Lord, by caring, by laying down our life. 
for others. Says Jesus says, I lay down my life for the sheep. That the greatest love for the Father to know us. Lord is loving the sheep. For the Father to know us. Father is surrendering our life for the sheep. For the Father to know us. Is that Lord our life should be spent. Father for the sheep. Lord we pray in the name of Jesus. That Lord uh, may we come to the knowledge. To the fellowship. To the understanding of the cost. Of laying down our life for the sheep. Lord not for ourselves. Not for the loans. Not for the cars. Not for the house. That Lord we have laid down our life. For all wrong, wrong reasons. And our life is long spent. But Father we pray. That with this remaining time. Our life Father may be fully given. We pray oh Father. That with this remaining time. Father we may die to ourselves. That Lord we may live unto God. In the name of Jesus. Lora basa kabayanda ra chalebone. Lora basa kabayanda nere chalebone ndele bayanda ra chalebone ndala bayana. Lora ba 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 la ra basa kabayanda ra chalebone. Lora basa lebone ndele bayanda ra chalebone ndala bayana. Lora basa lebone ndele bayanda ra chalebone ndala bayana. Lora basa leyanda ndala bayana nere chaleyanda ndala bayana. Nere chalebone ndele bayanda ra chalebone ndala bayana. Lore bosaleyana na la bayana ro chale bosa kabayana. Lore basale bone na la bayana ra chale bone na la bayana. La ra ba 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 la ra basa kabayana. Lere bayana ra chale bone na la bayana ra chale bone na la bayana. Lere bayana ro chale yana na la bayana ra chale yana na la bayana. Lore bosaleyana na la bayana ra chale bone na la bayana. Lore bosaleyana na la bayana ro chale bosa kabayana. La ra ba 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 la ra basa kabayana ra chale bone. Lere bayana ra chale yana na la bayana ra chale yana na la bayana. Lore bosele bone na le bayana ro chale bosa kabayana. Lore bosele yana na la bayana ro chale bosa kabayana. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sala bone na le bayana. La ra ba sa kabayana ro chale yana na la yana ro chale yana. Lore bosele yana na la bayana ro chale yana na na la bayana. Lore bosele kiana ra chale bone na le bayana ra chale yana. Lora basa kabayana re chale yana na la bayana. Lora basa le bone na le bayana re chale bone na le bayana. Lore bosa le yana na la bayana ra chale bosa kabayene. Lere bayana ro chale bone na le bayana ra chale bosa kabayana. La ra ba 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 la ra basa le yana na la bayana re chale bone. Lere bayana ra chale yana na la bayana re chale bone na le bayana. La ra ba 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 la ra basa le bana na la bayana. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Lord, we pray that the greatest sacrifice, the greatest love for God, the place to be known by God, Father, is to lay down our life. We thank you, Father. We lift up your name. Lord, Rabbi, Sakandure, Chalebone, Nelebeyana, Rechileyana. Lord, Rebo, Sekiana. In Jesus' name. We pray. Hallelujah. We are continuing to pray. Uh, verse uh, 15 it says, As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. And I laid down my life for the sheep. So I want to submit it to you that uh, for God, for you to be known by the Father is by the task or the work that you do for him. Uh, there are a lot of things that people can do for you. But what value is it when people do what they like? You know, you are in a place where people do what they want to do. And when they finish, they want to present to you that you'll be happy. Uh, uh, Joseph, uh, the, the Bible teaches us that Isaac said to Esau and Jacob, uh, he said to Esau, I want you to go and do something for me. Go and hunt. Find the game meat. Prepare it as you know how I like it. He says, when you return, uh, you, will bless, you will bless my bowels. I will be, you will energize or, or inspire me to speak a blessing upon your life. God was speaking through the life of Isaac to Esau. But uh, one thing that happened was that many of us, we want to give what we like. We want to give what we want. We come before God. We pass through the door, and we say the prayer behind the, the kitchen door uh, is the prayer for the morning. In the evening, the prayer behind 
the, the, the front door is the one. The prayer in my bedroom when we go to bed. Lord, I'm covered. I've already prayed. My prayers are pinned and posted everywhere. And that's, that's us. That's how we relate with him. But here, the reality of our love for God, why we are known is the work that we do for others. And this is what Jesus is saying. I lay down my life for the sheep. Let's continue in our journey as we take our next prayer point. John 10, 17 to 18. John 10, 17 to 18. Taking our theme from the scriptures, the relationship of Jesus and the Father. Most of us are doing things for ourselves. Then when we finish doing whatever that we like, we come and we present it. And we say, oh, bless it. Bless it, Lord. Bless this thing. And the Lord is not in it. And for a season, it looks like it's working. For a season, it looks like it's going well. Until one day you realize you are just by yourself. You left the Lord or you took a different turn. You are not on the path where God is going. And this is where Jesus says, I lay my life for the sheep. Listen to it. He says, as the Father knows me, even so I know my Father. I know the Father and I lay down my life for the for the sheep. And I think it's the laying down of his life for the sheep that makes him to be known by the Father. Let's read verse 17 of John 10. It says, therefore my Father loves me. Why? Because I laid down my life that I may take it again. Therefore my Father loves me. We are talking about the relationship of Jesus with the Father. Therefore my Father loves me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. What about you? Can, can we say the same, that therefore my father loves me because I laid down my life that I may take it? Who is Jesus laying down the life for? It's not for the sheep. No. Here it looks like it's the sheep. It says I laid down my life for the sheep. But verse 17 gives us a picture. It says, I, my, therefore my father loves me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. Jesus, his love for the Father has compelled him to lay down his life. He's giving his life and say, here it is on the platter, whatever you want. It's the story of Isaac in the book of Genesis 22. The Bible says, Isaac, when the Father has laid, you can read the story, when the Father has done the wood and everything, I think Isaac didn't squeal. He went on top of the wood and his father tied his legs and his hands and took the knife. I don't think Isaac was that small boy that uh, the father could easily carry and uh, tighten. He was a willing sacrifice. Jesus is a willing sacrifice. He says, my life I'm laying down. So there is no fighting. If I have a house, if I'm married, if I have if I have this, if I have this, if you give me this, then I will save. That's, that's fighting. Oh, I will give to the Lord if the Lord blesses me. If you can't give now, you will never give any time. This is why the Bible says, he who is faithful with the little, the little life that you have now. If you give it, there is a greater life that God will give to you. Some people think, oh, I'm more richer. You play games. Wait for God. This is why I say, silver and gold, let those who don't know God pursue it. For us, it says, the heaven and the earth are his. So if God owns all, why will you choose just one small tiny part? The rivers, the mountains, all that is in it. The wildlife, anything that you can think and imagine. The human beings. This is why I was saying, ask of me. So here Jesus says, my life I lay down. Jesus is bringing his life to the father, like Isaac, the example I'm giving, that Isaac went on the altar, there was no struggle, there was no squealing. It, Isaac was not a goat. You see, when you take a goat, you try and slaughter a goat, hey, the neighbors will even know <laughs> that there is meat next door. Uh, the goat will squeal. Think about the pig. I hope you, you are not a pig. The pig squeals even more. A piggy Christian is the ones who count what they've done for the Lord or what they've done for the church. And at the end of the day, they feel like things are not happening for them. You never gave in the first place. You are still alive. 
Because when we have given, those who are dead in Christ have no feeling about their material. They give to the Lord because they know the Lord will bless them. No one can measure the sacrifice of Christ. He says, therefore, I lay, verse 17, therefore, I lay my life. He uh, uh, says, therefore, my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me. But I lay it down of myself. Think about Isaac. Isaac was saying to the father, the wood I see, the fire I see. Where is the lamp? And Jesus said, uh, Abraham said, the Lord will provide for himself. Let me tell you a secret about uh, the story of Jesus here. Is that the Lord will provide for himself. The more we give, God matches us ten times more. We're talking in the early day with Pastor K. I say most people don't know. If your children become good, it's not you. If your children have ten right, it's not you. I know about myself. My parents didn't, they erased me. But it's when I received Jesus. I can tell you when I, before I turned 16 what I've done. And my path was clear. Where I was going. And if I will be alive today, possibly I'll be a troublemaker for the police and everybody else. Because my life was very clear. Everybody knew. The little things that I was already doing, most adults do them later in life. But I was already in those kinds of things. It was no longer, I didn't need, wait for needs in my life. I, for, my life was already tunneled into becoming something that uh, will be very ugly later in life. See, Satan sows seeds of discord in many of us so that when we grow up, we can't come out of this thorny life that we have started. I want to challenge you today that uh, your life has a meaning and a purpose. And here it says, no one takes it. I lay it I lay it down of myself. I lay it down of myself. I am giving myself because I love the Lord. So I want to challenge you today that your love for God. There are many things that we do. Please hear me very well. We serve the Lord in the places that the Lord has given us. In our workplace, in our homes, wherever we are, where we are working in our own business, we express the love of God to others. It becomes a means or a pulpit is a means for us to serve others. I hope it's very clear. This is a means for me to serve others. May the Lord have mercy. We are going to pray as we pray for ourselves. It says, therefore, my father loves me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down for myself. Hallelujah. It says, I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father. Now Jesus is giving us a secret that his ability to lay down his life is a command. He says, this command to lay down my life is from my Father. Now, it's the same command that uh, Isaac received from his father. I don't know if you understand. When, when, when he was put on the, on the altar and he didn't squeal. He didn't, there are very few people, if you ask for sacrifices from them, the whole universe will know that you have asked a sacrifice from them. Oh, can you do this for us? Can you do this for us? Very few people will keep quiet and nobody knows. Most of us, the news will spread until it comes back that, oh, so and so says, is it true? They want you to confirm it. And some of us will say, whatever. Let the God be a witness in this thing. You have already received your sacrifice. Isaac was, was a willing participant in his own personal sacrifice. May we be the willing participant in our own sacrifice. We are being taken to the... We, what God is asking for us, when Jesus says, I and my father are one, we are being asked to go on top of the mountain to become the greatest sacrifice ever given. The sacrifice is never given in secret. It's given in public. My life is an open book. It's in, it's in public. These are things that you do in secret. People reveal them to try and embarrass your sacrifice, to reduce the value of your sacrifice. 
so that everybody will say, whatever that you have given was just a show. It was not really a true sacrifice. I want us to come before the Lord to say, Lord, as Isaac did in squeal, and we see here the example, Jesus says, uh, uh, this commandment of laying down my life, I got it from my father. And one part that we read from laying down your life is that I laid down my life for the sheep. So the father knows Jesus because Jesus has laid down his life for the sheep. It's not a life of singing song. Singing a song in the church doesn't make you more Christian than any other thing. We could play any song. We could, we could put music and play. That's, your sacrifice will be seen by the level of your sacrifice to God. By the level of your giving to God. How much do you care about souls of men? How much do you go out of your way to make others, to come to the knowledge of Christ? Not only to come, to be discipled, to be matured, that they do exactly the same giving. As you gave them your life, because as you share to them, you are busy extending the life of Christ into their life. Can we come before the Lord as we pray that, Father, we pray that this grace may come upon our life. He says, therefore, my Father loves me because I laid down my life that I may take it again. Don't be a piggy sacrifice. A pig is worse than a goat. Oh, pig. When, pig gets, when the going gets tough, the pig makes noise. Much more noise. Much more noise. Just to catch it. You need to have a technique how to catch it. They taught me the technique, but I've never seen them use it. But my father told me how easy it is <laughs> to catch a pig. A goat, I've done it. I know a goat, oh, a goat cries. It pleads for its own life. You will even leave it if you are not strong. The lamp doesn't even say, you will never even hear, you will not, you will even think it's already dead. It will not squeal, it will not kick. Maybe the last blood reflexes are the ones that will make it to shake, but it's, it's fully given. I pray today as we come before the Lord to say, Father, may my life be pleasing. May I be the one who relinquishes all the joys what this, the delays, that seems like joy here in, in, in the world. May I be the one that is surrendered to you. Can we come before the Lord as we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We cry out, Father, we envy, we desire the life of Jesus. We envy, Father, to live like him. Father, it is the cry of our hearts that we be sons of God. As your word says, Father, in the last days, the world is awaiting the revelation of the sons of God. I pray this day that, Lord, may we be that revelation. May the many come to the understanding of who God is in our life. Lord, La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya ne re chile bo ne. Lo re bo se le ya na na la ba ya ne re chile ya na. Lo re bo se le bo ne ne le ba ya na. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya ne re chile bo ne ne le ba ya na. Lo ra ba sa ka ba ya ne re chile ya na. La ra ba se le ya na na la ya ne le ya na ra chile ya na na la ra chile ya na. Lo re bo se le ya na na la ba ya ne re chile bo ne. No ro chile bo ne ne le ba ya ne re chile bo sa. La ra ba 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 la ra ba sa la ya na na la ba ya na. Lo re bo sa la ya na na la ba ya na re cha la ya na na la ba ya na. Lo re bo sa la ya na na la ba ya na re cha la ya na na la ba ya na. Lo re bo sa la ya na na la ba ya na re cha la bo na na la ba ya na ra cha la bo sa. Lo ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha la bo na. Lo re bo sa la ya na na la ba ya na re cha la ya na. Le re ba ya na ro cha la ya na na la ya na re cha la ya na. Lord, bless the Lord, and the Lord 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 bless the Lord, and the Lord
La raba ba 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 la raba ba la raba shalaya na na la bayan de rechilaya na la raba shalaya na na la yan de rechilaya na na la yan de rechilaya na na la yan de rechilaya na la raba shalaya na na la yan de rechilaya na na la bayan de rechilaya na la raba shalaya na na la yan de rechilaya na na la bayan de rechilaya na la raba shalaya na na la bayan de rechilaya na na la bayan de rechilaya na la raba ba 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 la raba shalaya na na la yan de rechilaya na Lore Bosilea, Nana Labaya, Nurishalea, Nana Layana. Laura Baba Baba, La Raba Salaya, Nana Layan, Nurishalea, Nana Layana. Lore Bosilea, Nana Labaya, Nurishalea, Nana Baba Baba, La Rava Shalayana. Lore Bosilea, Nurishalea, Nola Baba Bacan, and Nurishaleana. Lore Bosilea, Nana Layan, Nurishalea, Nana Layan, Nurishalea, Nana Labayana. Laura Baba Baba Baba, La Rechalea, Nana Labayana. Let it be under Rochelayana, Nalavayan, the Rechelayana, Nalavayana. La Rabba Baba, La Rabba, La Bassa Cabayan, the Rechelebone. Laura Bassa Lebone, the Lebayan, the Rechelayana, Nalavayan, the Rechelayana. Lore Bosselayana, Nalayan, the Rechelayana, Nalayan, the Rechelayana. Lore Bosselayana, Nalayan, the Rechelayana, Nalavayan, the Rechelayana. Lore Bosselayana, Nalabayan, the Rochelebosa Cabayan, the Rachelebone. Laura Bassa Lebunde and the Lebayan de Rochelayana. Laura Bosselayana, Nalabayan de Rochelayana, Nalabayana. Laura Bosselayana, Nalabayan de Rechelayana. Laura Bosselayana, Nalayan de Rechelayana, Nalabayana. Laura Bosselayana, Nalayan de Rechelayana, Nalabayan de Rochelayana. Laura Bosselayana, Nalabayan de Rechelayana. Laura Bassa Kianda. Father, we pray even today for Jesus says, Therefore, my Father loves me. Because I laid down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me. But I lay it down of myself. Father we pray even today that Lord we may lay down our life of ourselves. Father we pray in the name of Jesus. That Lord we may lay down our life of ourselves. Lord Laura Basalebonen de Lebeana, Rachelebonen de Lebeana. Nuro Chilebonen de Lebeando Rochelebosa Cabayana, Rachelebonen de Lebeana, Racheleana, and the Lebeana, Rachelebona. Laura Baba Baba, Laura Basa Cabayana, Racheleana. But I lay down of myself, Lord. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that our life, Lord, may be laid down of ourselves, that, Lord, we may surrender, fully give ourselves. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, I come against the deception, Father, of many things that demands our life to be laid down. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that we know that our Father knows us when we lay down our life for the sheep. Lord Jesus said, this is the commandment that I received from my Father. This is the commandment that I received from my Father. Lord, we pray for this commandment to become a reality upon our life, that Lord, our life, may be laid down, that our life may be given, that our life may be received. Lord, Rabbi, Saka, Bayanda, Ra, Chalibone. Lere, Bayanda, Ro, Chalibone, Dele, Bayanda, Ro, Chalibos, Saka, Bayana. La, Rabbi, Baba, La, Rabbi, Saka, Bayanda, Ra, Chalibone. Lere, Bayanda, Ro, Chalibone, Dele, Bayanda, Ra, Chalibone, Dele, Bayana. La, Rabbi, Saka, Bayanda, Ra, Chalibone, Dele, Bayanda, Ro, Chalibone. Lore, Bosileana, Nala, Bayanda, Ra, Chalibone, Dele, Bayana. Lore Bosileana and the Labayanda Rochelebon and the Labayana Rachelebon and the Labayanda Rachelayana and the Labayana. Lora Basa Cabayana Rachelebon and the Labayana Rachelebone. Lora Baba Baba La Rabasa Cabayana Rachelebon and the Labayana Rachelebone. Lore Bosileana and the Labayana Rochelebon and the Labayana. Lora Baba Baba La Rabasa Cabayana Rachelebone. Lere Bayana Rachelebon and the Labayana Rachelebon and the Labayana. Rabba Baba Bala Rabba Saka Bayan de Rechelebone. Lere Bayan de Rochelebone and the Lebayan de Rechelebone and the Lebayana. La Rabba Saka Bayan de Rechelebone and the Lebayan de Rachelayana. La Rabba Baba Bala Rabba Saka Bayan de Rachelebone and the Lebayana. Lere Bayan de Rochelebone and the Lebayan de Rachelebone and the Lebayan de Rechelebosa. Rabba Baba Bala Rabba Saka Bayan de Rechelayana. Lere Bayan de Rachelebone and the Lebayan de Rechelayana and the Lebayana. Laura Basalebon and the Lebeyan, the Rachelebon and the Lebeyan, the Rechelebona. 
la ra ba 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 la ra ba sala bone ne le beya na ra chale bone ndo ro chale bone ne le beya na ra chale bone ne le beya na re chale bone ne le beya na ra chale bo saka beya na ra chale bone ha la ba ba la ba saka beya na ra chale bone ndo ro chale bone ne le beya na ra chale bone ne le beya na ra chale bo sa le re beya na ra chale bone ne le beya na ra chale bone ne le beya na la re be ya nuru chale ya na na le be ya na ra chale bo na na la ba ya na ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra chale bo na na le be ya na la re be ya na ra chale bo na na le be ya na ro chale bo sa ka ba ya na ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra chale bo na na le be ya na la re be ya na ra chale ya na na la ba ya na ra chale bo na na le be ya na ra chale ya na la re bo chale ya na na la ba ya na ro chale ya na na la ba ya na ra ba 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 la ra ba sa la bo ne ne le be ya na le re be ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na lo re bo se le ya na na la ba ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na la ra ba 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 la ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na lo ra ba sa ka ba ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na lo re bo se le ya na na la ba ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na ro cha le bo sa le re be ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na ra cha le bo ne ne le be ya na ra cha le bo na Father in the name of Jesus we worship you O God we exalt your name O Father that Lord this commandment Lord we have received from my Father I pray O God that we may walk in the reality of this commandment O Father that Lord we may lay down our life Jesus said this commandment I have received I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again This commandment I have received from my father. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Like Isaac of old, O oh God, may we be a willing participant in the sacrifice of our own life. As Jesus said, my life I lay down. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that may the same be true of us. Lord, rabba sakabayanda ra chalebone. Lere beyanda ro chalebone ndele beyanda ra chalebosa. In Jesus name. We pray. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Church. I want us to come as we take our last uh, prayer point. Probably, as I look at the time, uh, I want you to prepare communion as we come before the Lord. As we round up, I want you to have a very clear picture that uh, when Jesus says, "I and my Father," verse thirty, "I and my Father are one." There is a movement of the Spirit. There are some things that are happening in the life of Christ. There are many things that draws our attention. Uh, Shelley Caesar put it this way: "Is everything that glitters is not gold. Everything that glitters is not gold." We have in Eastern Cape many years ago, uh, not long ago, in our uh, 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 relative past, just not long ago, uh, people were rushing. They call it fool's gold. They found something that looks goldish, and people started to dig. And government went there and said, "This thing is not gold. You are endangering your life." It's, they called it fool's gold. It looks like, but it's not. And sometimes we are given missions and purposes to become something that we are not. Satan has given us his mission. Uh, he wants to be. Uh, when I grew up, we had a pastor who was teaching us. Part of the issues, he had a, a cardboard uh, uh, that had different kinds of animals that have different kinds of personalities. There was a pig on the cardboard or uh, on the frame. There was a pig uh, about that the pig, even if you give it something valuable, the pig will take the pearl. Even if you put it on its snout, you, it will take the pearl of a great price and go into the mud and uh, tilt the mud with it. And eat the roots, and not care about the value, because the pig doesn't know what is the worth of what is given to it. The pig will not take the reality of what is given to it. And so we had the main issue that I wanted to talk about was a peacock. The peacock displays. I think it's a male peacock. Uh, it's a he peacock. It shows up all its feathers and its beauty in order to attract females. And to show, and uh, sometimes most of us, our Christian life is just the peacock show. We look so pretty and so beautiful, 
Jesus as well continues to talk about the grave. You know a grave? He says, outside is polished, but underneath is trouble, worms. I want us to come before the Lord as we pray. Jesus says, my life I lay down. Most of us, those who don't lay down their life, they take the pearl that God has given to them and get busy into a mud, looking for something they can do while the pearl on their nose could give them any, anything and everything they need in this life. The second part, the peacock. The peacock looks uh, really amazing, but the pride of the peacock to show off. It's like immediately sees some attention, it will lift up its tail and show all the beautiful parts of itself, and it will go around, and sometimes that's all that we have to show. Nothing else. We have nothing more. Uh, the book of Corinthians talks about a man who has no love. It's like a an empty gong that when you hit it, it makes the largest noise, but it achieves not much. I want us to come before the Lord as we take these two verses and then uh, we go into prayer. Uh, we close the prayer. We take communion, our offering, and um, we close. But Jesus said, verse, John 5, verse 17. John 5, 17 says, but Jesus answered them, My father worketh here unto, and I work. My, my father is working, and therefore I am working. Don't forget, we said the works of Jesus. Jesus says, I and my father are one. And he says, My father knows me, and I know him. I laid down my life for the sheep. Not only that, he says, I laid down my, my life so that I will take it again. But not only that, it says this commandment of laying down my life, I got it from the Father. And now he's saying, the works, the Father is working here unto, and I am I'm working. And I work. There is no rest. As the Father is working, Jesus is working. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord show kindness to us. May the Lord have mercy. I want us to come before the Lord as we pray. That Lord, as you are working, may the grace of work come upon my life. May the grace of Jesus come upon my life. May I come one day to this part. Paul made a very profound statement. He says, I'm ready to be poured out. Yes. He's ready to meet God. You are saying, uh, it's beneficial for you that I stay. It's beneficial for you that I stay. But for him, he was ready to depart, to be with the Lord, to be, to be with the Lord. I want us to come before the Lord as we pray, that Father, as you are waking, may we be waking. We read the story of Job. He says, I've heard about you, but now I see you. What an experience. May it be your journey to come to that uh, closure that I've heard, listen, there are many things that we do. Become a Paul in this life. Use your profession to preach the gospel. Let many people come, since the gospel cannot pay you where you are. You can't be full time. But you can use the place where you are to really consolidate the work of the kingdom. Don't, don't be deceived by being an usher. Don't be deceived by being in watch and pray. Don't be deceived by giving a title that you are doing communion. Don't be deceived by the many things that we do in church. All of those things are important, of course. But they are not critical. Some, most of the things we do in church, we can do without. And therefore, they don't add to the love that the Father has for us. Because the love that the Father has for us is that I lay down my life for the sheep. And Jesus says, my father is working, and I, I work. May the grace of work come upon your life in the name of Jesus. May the power to excel come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Can we come before the Lord as we pray? We take this prayer, John 5, 17. Can we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. For Jesus says, my father work unto, here unto, 
and I work. Father, we pray as we give ourselves to you, Lord, that by the power, the grace of your Holy Spirit, Father, we'll do mighty works. Lord, that Father, we will show as our Father is working. Lord, may we be working the works of Jesus, that Father is so the Father and is coping the Father. The willingness of Father to lay down his life, not being pushed, not being called to do so, but taking the commandment of the Father, knowing to trust that that which the Father says will come true for me. Father, we pray even tonight in the name of Jesus for the divine, for the revelation, for the guidance, for the power of God. La raba baba la raba saka bayende re chole bone le re beando ro chole bone ende le beanda ra chole bosa le re beando ro chole bone ende le beanda ra chole yanda anda la bayana lo re bosa le yanda anda la bayanda re chole bone ende le beanda re chole yanda anda la yanda re chole yana lo re bosa le yanda anda la bayanda ra chole bosa kabayanda re chole yana lo re bosa le yanda anda la bayanda re chole yanda anda la bayanda re chole yana Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the grace of the ministry of Apostle Paul, that as many of our people, Father, are laboring and working as way, that, Father, may it become a platform to preach the gospel, to consolidate, to build, that as the Father is working, Father, may they be working. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, that may the kingdom flourish, may the kingdom move forward, may the kingdom be mighty and stronger, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we take communion tomorrow, we have a funeral of our beloved sister, Tibo uh, 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 Goma. I want us to pray as we come before the Lord that all things will go well. By the way, none of the church members are invited. Only family members should be there. So please don't come. Unless you have been called, don't come. You are not expected to be present at all. So I want us to pray for the family that in the midst of difficulty, challenges that they find themselves in, the grace of God shall triumph. The grace for comfort, the grace for healing, the grace to do extraordinary works. May the grace of God, the Bible says, the year King Hosea died, I saw the Lord. The Bible says, when Abraham died, God blessed Isaac, his son. I pray that this will be true, that may the death of our sister be a turning point in our church and be a turning point in the Kuma family, uh, that all things may work together for them. We commit her soul to the Lord, but above all, the soul of the whole family. Can we come as we pray for the family as they go through power, uh, 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 painful grieving uh, because they've lost a very young woman, somebody with a great promise, a mother, a wife, a very good participant in the work of the ministry. Can we come before the Lord as we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray today. We give this family, the Guma family, into your hands. I pray, Father, for divine help and assistance. I ask, O oh, Father, that all things will go as they are planned. We pray, Father, that the family will find solace and comfort in you, O oh, Father. That, Lord, you are the great healer, the great comforter. May the words that are going to be spoken, Father, touch their life. May the words we are going to speak on your behalf, Lord. We pray, Father, may, be, may the words be relevant and as well to the point. We thank you, Father, for this in Jesus' name. We pray for the whole of ECC that as this service is broadcasted, Father, the, we will be comforted in our, in our own home to watch and to follow up, Father, the activities of the day. We thank you, Father, for a life that was well lived, a life that was an example, a life that is a testimony to your grace, to your love, to your kindness. We worship you, Father, for this. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. May the Lord bless you. May his face shine upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to receive communion now. I'll ask of you to take your bread as, as we prepare ourselves uh, to, to break bread. Can you lift up your bread, please? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, tonight. You always say, Father, the night you were betrayed, you took bread. You say, take it. This is my body which was broken for you. You said, do this because I will be present with you. We acknowledge your presence in our midst, in every home, in every place where bread is broken. In your name, 
I pray for healing. I pray for restoration. I pray for the joy of the Lord to be their strength. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, can we eat together? The Bible says the same night Jesus took the cup and says, take, this is my cup which was broken for you. Uh, this is my cup, this is my blood which was shed for you. Father, we thank you for the cup. We receive it with thanksgiving. We thank you for life. For you said, Lord, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. We thank you for eternal life. We thank you, Father, for all the good things that are in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Can we drink together? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this communion. We receive it as healing and restoration into our soul. We thank you, Lord, for reconciling us to yourself, for considering our ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, we are going to receive an offering. If you look at your screen, you will be able to see our snap scan, and you will be ab as well be able to see our different bank accounts. We want to say thank you so much for your faithfulness, your love towards God, and as we give unto the Lord, may the Lord show kindness towards you. We're going to pray for all of our tithes and offering, as the Lord has guided us and directed us in the book of Hebrews chapter 7. The Bible gives us an understanding that Levi paid the tithe in Abraham while he was still in his loins. And the Bible as well teaches us in verse 8 that here on earth mortal men, men who die receive tithes, but there in heaven, it is the Lord who receives it. We are going to pray. I want you to open your heart that you may give generously. And don't forget, on Sunday, we are taking the redemption prayer and fasting offering. What is a redemption prayer and fasting offering? In essence, it's supposed to be our first fruit for 2021 calendar year. Why is that? Because most of us are going to work. We are going to be paid. In essence, we are supposed to take if you are at work, you are not losing any wage. You are working for the Lord. So that offering, that salary should be redeemed as we come before the Lord to say, Father, we thank you that uh, we were able to go. Our fields were bearing fruit while we said we are fasting. And Lord, we pray, may you redeem our wage. May you redeem our salary. May you redeem the resources that you have blessed us with even as we end that 20 21, Lord, we are giving generously because we are grateful for your love. Can we pray together? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. We receive all the tithe, even as you said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse that it may be meat in my house. Father, we thank you for the offerings that are given. For you said, Lord, I'll purify the offerings of the sons of Levi. They'll offer an offering of righteousness unto the Lord. We thank you, Father, for the faithfulness the love, the kindness that people have towards the work of the ministry. We give because, Lord, we love you. We give because, Lord, we love the work that the church is doing. And we give because, Lord, you promised you will bless us. We give as well because we want the communities that we are in to be blessed. We thank you, Father, for this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Can we take grace together? One, to go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you again. The 24-hour prayer chain prayer continues. If you are not in it, phone your pastor, phone your shepherd, phone your ministry minister so that you can be ministered to, you can participate. We continue even tomorrow. Our fasting continues. We stand upon the promise of the word that God said he will come through for us. Thank you so much. May the Lord mightily bless you. Shalom. Alelon. Bye-bye.